Hello guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about that NHL video that's been circling around in the last 24 hours that has absolutely blown my mind. So, here's a clip. Hockey is back. Now that is right, your boy was a part of an NHL commercial slash NHL ad slash NHL ad. I don't know what to call it to be honest with you. I'll just call it a video in today's video. Not too much of a build up with this video also. Just wanted to talk about this thing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you haven't to join the Grav Gang. But I felt like I needed to talk about this since obviously it was insane yesterday. And when it came to all of this, there it was kind of in the plans, not completely though. Of course, if you don't know already, I'm a part of the NHL Power Players, about 15 or so teenagers annually that the NHL chooses that basically advises them on what the youngins are into these days. And it's obviously not directly to Gary Bettman, but it's with the content creators at the NHL. And I've had some great opportunities over there over the past year that I've been extremely grateful for. One of the main ones was going to the all-star game in St. Louis this year, which was just a fantastic experience. And about a month ago, I was contacted and all the other power players were contacted about doing uh, or being a part of an NHL advertisement for the return of the playoffs. And they said to kind of put a clip in, see what happens, you might be included. So I just absolutely went hyped for about a minute and a half, gave them way too much material because they only used about a few seconds of it. I'm still incredibly grateful about that though and I didn't really hear back from them it was like a month wait and I didn't even know if it was going to happen and then as soon as the NHL return to play plan was finalized yesterday the NHL just put out a video and my face was like in the first five seconds and I remember I remember I was finished editing a video I think it was the NHL first lines worst to best which will come out eventually by the way and I remember I was at dinner I was at the dinner table I was making myself two sandwiches and I was about to bite into a sandwich as I was checking Twitter and boom, that video was on my feed, I saw my face and then two people directly tagged me right after that and my mind was absolutely blown. I was sitting there for minutes on end checking the Instagram, the YouTube, everything, just wondering how the heck this even happened? My face, my voice on the NHL's Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I don't know how the heck that happens, but it did. And I, I could not be more shocked because even though I was a part of the advertisement potentially, we didn't know if it was actually going to happen or if my face was going to be in there at all. So I wasn't really expecting too much. And as, of course, the month went by without no new info, I just kind of assumed that it wasn't going to ever happen. And then Without my knowledge, it just absolutely bombed right there. And my mind could not compute that at all. Now, if I'm going to be completely honest as well, I, again, just even an after hour that happened, an hour after that happened, I still could not believe it. My mind could still not wrap around it. I remember seeing it becoming the NHL Twitter pin tweet, and my face was right there. I screenshotted it like multiple times because I still could not believe it. And obviously I ended up in that clip saying hockey is back. And again, I sent in like a minute and a half of footage, but just getting that and getting the start of it, I don't even know how the heck that happened, but it did. And I, I watched the whole thing like an hour after because I was kind of scared to watch the whole thing. I had no idea what it was going to be. And I was kind of just like, okay, I see my face there. I, I, I don't know what to do. So I watched the whole video like an hour later and I was just shocked by how good it was. Seriously, check it out if you haven't already. Not just because my face is in there, by the way, uh, but that is, a, that is a pretty good part of it, I would say. And again, I was just shocked after the whole thing. I could not believe that it was a thing. And I, I saw so many messages from people and I was so grateful for that because I was checking like the YouTube comments and like, okay, I'm, I wonder what they're talking about here. And like all the top comments were like, grab, grab is noticed and all that stuff, which just absolutely warmed my heart. It was, it was just incredible. I, I could not explain it enough or in enough detail because there was just so much going on. And meanwhile, by the way, I, I barely ate that sandwich. It was just standing there, or sit, standing there, sitting there on the kitchen table, just wanting to be eaten. And I, I, I just had other things to do, I guess. At the same time, getting past that initial shock, it was just unbelievable. One of my main goals in life 
was to be on like the NHL's Twitter or the NHL's Instagram and just have my face at some extent. Like, I don't know, how, he, like how PK Subban does his like game show stuff. I wanted the NHL to have like a dedicated post to whatever I was doing or something. And then my face was right there on the NHL Twitter as I was eating a sandwich and having some milk. And I didn't plan it that way, but it happens that way. Which, again, even though I'm recording this like a few hours later, I still can't believe that. Now this video kind of came at a weird time for me mentally because over the past month I haven't really felt myself when it comes to content creation, especially since the draft lottery. I felt like I've kind of been on autopilot a little bit since that, just kind of waiting for the playoffs to happen, which will happen. I'll be streaming as much as I can during that. But mentally, in terms of just my feeling on life and everything, it's been really a roller coaster ride over the past month. Obviously, I'm going to be turning 18 this next February, and with everything going on, I don't exactly know how to feel about that, and that's also been weighing me down a little bit, but it's also just been the rewarding aspect of YouTube and the accomplishment side of YouTube, which for me personally, since the draft lottery hasn't really been there all too much, and I kind of expected the world out of the views, the world out of the subscribers since then, and it's not really been up to that level, which seems a little bit selfish, but in my, in my mind at that point, I was just hell bent on getting those views, getting those subscribers, whatever it might be, which was also weighing me down at the same time. And just seeing that video, seeing that video with my face on it in the NHL gave me hope that this channel be can become even larger than it is right now and gave me hope and confidence to continue what I'm doing on this to continue getting better for you guys as well and, and just trying to create the best content I can here. It gave me reassur reassurance as reassurance, uh, reassur re reassurance. Yes, that, that is the word that I can continue doing this and I can actually feel good about it because some points over the past month that hasn't really been the case. And it wasn't just because of the video that made that happen. It was you guys that did a fantastic job. I was looking at the comments on the YouTube video and everybody was saying grab getting the recognition he deserves and that kind of stuff just made my day. All the fantastic people also in the NHL meme community on Instagram who have been making some fantastic grab memes over the past couple of months. That's one of the main things that has been keeping me going on this thing and it's really heartwarming as well to just see all of that come into play a lot yesterday, whatever you might see this video. At the same time, it was just an amazing motivator, something I will never forget. And again, that hour when it first was uploaded was just absolutely magical. So I cannot thank you enough for that. Now, of course, you guys know heading into these playoffs that I'll be streaming hopefully every single day during the playoffs and leading up to the playoffs. I'll be doing a lot of previews as well, so look out for that. But I also, with this video, obviously I've been discussing more me as a whole, but I wanted to also reach out to you guys and say if you are struggling mentally or whatever it might be, let me know on Twitter, DM me there or on Instagram. I'll try my best to talk to you and give you some of my attention because I know some of you guys do deserve it. And it's just absolutely amazing what you guys have done for me. And I want to give that back to some of you guys. So it is perfectly acceptable if you are struggling right now. Let me know. You don't even have to do it in public. Do it in private if you need. But I'll try my best to be there for you guys like you guys have been there for me. And I'll be trying to do that over the past couple of weeks and heading into the playoffs. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic time. And hey, hockey is back. It's going down, boys. And I could not be more grateful for you guys. You guys have been fantastic. We're on the road now to 17K subscribers, which just blows my mind. And it's all its all because of you guys. I mean, I wouldn't be in the Power Players. I would not be on that video if it weren't for you guys supporting me every single day. So for that, I absolutely love y'all. So with that video, I'll be saying goodbye for now. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hopefully you guys enjoy this more deep dive into what I'm feeling uh, about this whole situation, how this came to be. Make sure you comment down below all your thoughts on the video, what you thought of it, and the, your boy grab getting into an NHL commercial slash advertisement slash video. To be determined on that name, by the way. Uh, but share this video with friends. Get it out there, boys. And click on this card right here to watch something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put up there. But we'll see you eventually once you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Peace and love. See you all later. Stay safe. Goodbye.